Well, hello Virgos. Welcome to your June of 2024 spiritual advice reading. I'm Josie Kay, your spiritual cheerleader, and this is the Norman Deck by Chiro Marchetti. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Virgo needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice for the month of June of 2024. All right, so we've got the mind on the money and the money on the mind for at the very beginning of June for the collective Virgos. Now in the thoughts position, we have a passionate feminine who is looking out the window waiting for something to transpire. Now this could be a feminine who's very passionate about a situation that she's waiting for when it comes to money. In the relationship sector, oh my, we have soulmate type connections coming in, connections that ebb and flow naturally. We have a feminine who may be thinking about this watery energy of the fish, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, hoping that this person is a soul connection, hoping that a soul connection will either arrive or this is what she's hoping for. Okay, so in the creative aspects position, we have the child card. Now, the child card could represent something or someone tied to the past. It could represent a situation that involves a child or children. We have a feminine who may, again, be waiting on a connection whereby there is a greater money in abundance so that she can support and take care of her children. In the actions position, we have the mice energy of anxiety. So she's passionate and she's excited here, more closely to the end of June. In the emotional aspects position, we have a masculine here who may be at a distance and or could be acting a little bit distant. That could be why this passionate feminine is a little bit anxious. In the subconscious position, we have the dog card of devotion. So anxious about the devotion of this masculine who may be a little bit closed off, waiting to decipher a soul connection. Do they want or are they going to devote themselves to uh, an opportunity for a new beginning? Or a feminine is thinking about a masculine here. You may not have yet met this masculine. It may occur closer to the 24th through to the 28th of June for some Virgos. Or you already know who this is. Day to day, we have some form of communication, paperwork showing up here. Good news regarding money. Okay. In the inner strengths position, we have the home. Yeah, so she's passionate about waiting for the right connection, the right conversation, communication for a new beginning with this masculine. Thinking about making changes in the area of home or family. Now in a three card summary, we have the burden of the cross, a message of groundedness, and sly cunning people. Or a situation you're trying to go away from. All right, so starting off in the first week or so of June, we have a Virgo here who is feeling a little bit burdened, who is waiting for some form of doorway to open, right? Waiting patiently regarding a situation that could involve a money or this masculine. Sweeping away from hope, but spirit saying, take a chance, roll the dice. Eventually there will be this aha moment, this attention and recognition coming in from uh, someone as a result of your devotion, right? I'm passionate about making changes in the area of home, family, children. I am hoping that eventually I will connect with this uh, soulmate type energy and receive uh, a devoted offer of money. <clears throat> so the message in the first two to three weeks of June is to remain grounded as you set and meet your own personal goals, trusting that eventually you will see this aha moment of the rainbow. See, something is being divinely timed at this time. I feel like some may be hoping to have a child with a masculine, but the masculine may not be wanting children, or there's anxiety about that. 
Either way, we have the beautiful star card for some wish fulfillment around the 16th of June. Kind words, messages, offers, opportunities showing up here. Then comes the anxiety, right, in the actions position. Should I make changes and work from home? Should I move to a new home location uh, because of the money, the opportunity that is coming in? We do have the beautiful anchor representing stability and security, but we do also have the maze, which is confusion about which way do I go? Am I making a mistake? But either way, spirit saying there is going to come if you'll reach out and connect via community, society, social media, technology, some form of divinely timed wisdom, communication or paperwork. And then of course there's anxiety and fear with the snake. So, Spirit is saying there's a divinely timed path that is blessed, a soulmate connection that was meant to come into your life at this time. And even though you may feel anxious, look closely at the opportunity because the popular coffin is here, meaning that old paths are ending and that we are to seek out this path that is blessed. Yeah, someone is in a state of confusion, feeling a little bit stuck or trapped in a situation involving a commitment, partnership, or contract, trying to get to the truth of the situation. And Spirit saying it's through communication uh, in the first half of June, uh, whereby there will be a divinely timed realization of uh, a path that is blessed. So Sly, cunning, manipulative, worries about that, worries about moving forward into a new direction. But with this beautiful number three here, this is the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, saying we are guiding you to travel physically or metaphorically away from um, those who no longer serve you. Oh my, we have a little bit of fantasy and illusion here regarding this masculine if this is not a passionate masculine, because we got a passionate feminine here and clarity, a need to decipher a decision, a direction, trying to find clarity, whether it has to do with money or water energy or something else. Uh, the clarity is arriving, I think, closer again to mid to end of June for most Virgos. Yeah, there's that aha moment with the number one of <clears throat> the awareness of a new beginning that this Virgo is very passionate about. Recognizing the signs and synchronicities about some form of direction. Maybe needing to make a change in the area of home. And Spirit saying, we're giving you the strength to do so. Even if you're feeling anxious, research this opportunity when it comes to a business or organization or a more... Um, expensive foundation home yeah so eventually there is going to be this awareness by the end of june that there has been wish fulfillment and that now you can cut away very quickly and swiftly from this energy of anxiety <clears throat> wait patiently for eventually there will be some form of meetings or negotiations a conversation that is going to lead this Virgo energy across this beautiful magical golden bridge into the direction of the polar bear. So this could be I'm headed into the direction whereby I can open my mama bear heart uh, to a person that I know is a soulmate that was divinely timed, a path that is blessed, that will require changes in the area of Homer children. <clears throat> This could also be uh, this feminine thinking about someone who's either of a bigger build, someone who's financially abundant, stable, and secure, someone that maybe you haven't met, but through conversation, there's going to be this awareness of a blessed path, a new beginning, wanting to devote yourself to the connection that is arriving. <clears throat> Pardon me. Feeling burdened because you don't know which direction. This can be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the Judgment card and or the Two of Swords or, yeah, or the Two of Wands even. Indecision about which passionate direction is blessed. Which direction should I go? All right, this is the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. So we do have some form of kind words and messages with the Page of Cups energy and the fish. 
So this is either kind words and messages in relation to water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or kind words and messages when it comes to money. Now we do have a passionate feminine looking out the window, waiting patiently for some form of opportunity. In the thoughts position, I'm very passionate, maybe about a masculine that I'm communicating with, but I'm in this energy of discord and heartache. So there's a lot of fear here regarding this communication, whether it's professional or personal in the first half or by mid-June. In the relationship sector, we've got a lot of passion and excitement, a blessed path in the form of the Ace of Wands, a path that is going to grow and prosper in the area of home and family and business. So there's a new path that is developing that is coming to mind. I feel, well, professional or personal, uh, there's this awareness of this new path because of a connection that feels right, because there's this awareness in the subconscious position of this person is truly devoting themselves to me or I'm going to devote myself to this path that is blessed. So day to day in the, cre I'm sorry, in the creative aspects position, we have the discontent energy. So, you know, there is fear here that there's an empty offer of love, a situation that may involve a child or children, the past and or a new beginning that spirit is trying to help unfold. A message will come in a divinely timed way. Uh, so trust and uh, don't sit in energies of discontent, worry, fear, or thoughts of heartache. Instead, get excited because spirit's trying to bring in a connection that is meant to be. So in the actions position, there's that two of wands. Okay, courage, the courage too, when the opportunity comes to make a decision regarding the highest best path. You may feel anxious about making a decision in the actions position, but there will be one that stands out with the four leaf clover energy. The realization that a person place circumstance situation is indeed blessed. So, you know, there could be someone at a distance emotionally and uh, inner conflict or maybe exterior conflict. I think spirit saying, you know, if this person is cold or closed off, uh, don't allow your thoughts to sit in that energy of discord. Be diplomatic and move forward with the discontent card. If one path or person or situation is not the swan energy here, trust that uh, spirit's giving you the courage to hang in there because there is a second opportunity coming subconsciously. So this is a time of rest, of waiting as you uh, decipher the devotion of another, as you devote yourself to researching um, who is the soul connection that's meant to be. Day to day, we have the very popular world energy. So this is, I am bringing discontent and boredom to a successful completion. Any uh, unhealthy relationships, concerns, or worries, I'm stepping into a new portal because of some form of communication or paperwork. If one situation does not fulfill me, I'm going to reflect on that and I'm going to continue to find the courage to see what else there can be because eventually I'm going to receive an offer if I'll just wait patiently. If I wait for a divinely timed connection that is that will help for me to see this path that is blessed. So like many, we have some Virgos in the inner strengths position who may be worried about a situation that involves home or family. With the cross energy representing burden, spirit saying we're helping you to be freed from burdens of what if something doesn't work out. Okay, to trust that in divine timing that eventually there's going to be a call to make a courageous decision, but you'll know that you know uh, what needs to be done because of the path that is blessed, okay? Indecision, sweeping away from indecision at some point here. All right, so in a three card summary with the Sacred Circle Tarot, we've got the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Wands. 
So right now with the Druid energy, Spirit is helping the collective to take uh, all four elements, all their lessons and experiences, and to continue to pour their heart into what you want to create for yourself at this time. Okay, because there is going to be this realization that I have manifested the development of a reason to celebrate or a peaceful and contented future. I'm going to remain grounded as I connect with others via the World Wide Web, as I decipher uh, who or what I want to build on this web of my life with. It's very important at this time to not be discontent and bored, right? To give birth to projects and ideas, to continue to uh, maintain your imagination and creativity. Uh, because as you go towards uh, better circumstances and situations and people, you're going to find solace in the area of this distant masculine. So there could be someone uh, not helping you at work, someone in a relationship, but uh, Spirit saying it is through your intuition where you're going to recognize uh, that what weighs heavy upon you uh, is not fulfilling. All right, by the third week, wow, here comes unexpected communication and the realization of a path that is blessed. So now we have Spirit offering up a gift in the form of the Ace of Cups, a path of peace, joy, and happiness. Excitement, a soulmate, and the realization of emotional fulfillment and joy. Yeah, so if you're conflicted about whether or not someone has grown and evolved into the King of Cups energy, or you're conflicted about Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Spirit is going to help you to take the lessons of the past and to move forward from energies of nostalgia, of the heartache of the past. Someone may be getting in their own way here. And that's why Spirit's saying move forward diplomatically. Indecision about passionate communication, trying to get to the truth of a situation, trying to recognize balance. Shining like the sun and being freed from the energy of suffering. So there's definitely a message of let others shine their light upon you. Yep, because here comes someone, if it's not King of Wands energy, which we see with the Soulmate card and the Ace of Wands. Uh, there could be a new passionate direction that is developing for this Virgo uh, with Sagittarius or Leo. Or the King of Wands does represent someone who's in a leadership position. So connecting with someone who is in a leadership position that feels like the right connection is the direction spirit is saying is leading towards success. Then there's recovery. There's this realization that I've given birth to a situation. I waited patiently and now there's the shocking realization uh, that a slow moving money opportunity um, has now shown up. Through communication, I can now bring discontent, boredom, and a time of reflection to a successful completion because I'm now feeling courageous enough to communicate, to receive what is on offer here. Yeah, there's the death card. So wish fulfillment and then abandoning who or what does not serve you. Yeah, there could definitely be someone uh, manipulative here or you're fearing that. But regardless, Spirit's saying your ship is coming in when it comes to the Ten of Cups. We are bringing you, Spirit says, uh, to a celebration of uh, emotional fulfillment and joy. All right, so I'm going to bring in and close with the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Spirit's saying you deserve the best. Hang in there. Wait, don't get caught up. On the right on the wrong person or opportunity for eventually you will bring things full circle because of this communication with the soulmate that is divinely timed and will feel courageous enough though a little bit nervous about the path that is unfolding so nine of thought we have someone just sitting here with their head on their hand uh, and spirit saying Stop being so hard on yourself, right? Thinking about discord, heartache, worry, fear. Turn your thoughts towards the positive, for there is absolutely no need to worry, exclamation mark. For anticipating the worst at this time will not be helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. 
if you are experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over some form of challenge in your life, release this problem to your angels. For there are many with the aid of emotion energy, feeling uh, uh, many Virgos feeling a uh, deep longing for something more meaningful. For in your heart, you know that you know that there is more out there waiting for you in this world. So free yourself from this energy of discontent and boredom. Maybe now's the time to create an opportunity to work with children, to guide children, or to start something new. It may be time to switch careers, to move to a new home, right? Because we have the burdening energy in the inner strengths position regarding the home. Or to initiate other important changes in your life. For soulmate type connections are going to come in in the relationship sector of the circle spread and make an offer that is very exciting, that will grow and develop for the long term. So do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Positive recognition is on its way. So be diplomatic with those who don't give you the attention recognition that you deserve. Wait for this uh, divinely timed soul connection um, and trust that you'll have the courage to go from a time of discontent and reflection to uh, a new direction that will free you from worries in the area of home or family, especially. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the spring special which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly I want to say a super big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.